Just when we thought Kate Middleton was winning the war against the French tabloid for publishing topless photos of her, an Irish tabloid went ahead and pub published them on Saturday, and an Italian gossip magazine, Key, did the same thing today. Now, people are outraged over these pictures, which were taken from far away while Kate and Prince William vacationed. But, you know, listen to what CNN political analyst and contributor Roland Martin just wrote in a really powerful op-ed on CNN.com. Roland says, as long as the paparazzi are paid for their photos, this will keep on happening. He wrote, uh, call it despicable and degrading, but it also creates a situation that requires common sense, Kate. Unless you know for sure that no one else's prying eyes or camera will see you, don't sunbathe naked. Roland joins me tonight from Washington, D.C. Now, let me get this straight because I want to get it right. You are basically saying here, Roland, that Kate needs to change her ways because where there are paparazzi, there's really no privacy. Now, are you saying that Kate didn't have common sense here? And was well, she, well, because, you know, What I'm ahead. saying is this here. In boxing, there's a phrase called protect yourself at all times. And when you talk mm -hmm. to celebrities, when you talk to people who are constantly the subjects of the paparazzi, you have to always protect yourself. You have to assume at the moment you walk outside of the door, eyes might be on you. It's also, look, your mom and dad had told you, when you're changing clothes, close the curtain, because you don't know who's looking <laughs> outside. And so, and, and also, right. your, your mom and daddy also told you, baby, don't show your cookies to the rest of the world if you don't want them to see it. And so I got people <laughs> tweeting me saying, oh, Roland, you know, you're chauvinistic. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is you are one of the most photographed women in the world. These guys got lenses shooting from two, three miles away. You better protect sure. yourself. And you are the first line of defense, not the French law. I hear you on that now. Today on The View, Whoopi Goldberg and Barbara Walters didn't see eye to eye on this subject at all. Watch what okay. Barbara says about the royal family suing the French magazine sure. that first released these topless photos. Look at this with me. I think almost by suing, they have made this more important. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody wants to I show the pictures. I, so I, it's with the territory. That's an interesting point. No, it doesn't, but actually. It, does. it does not. When you are on pub, when you're in public, you're in public. When they go to your house, that's not okay. They, they went to crying. where she was. She was not in public on pro public property. She wasn't outside. She was in the building. I and she was on her thing. There's also but, the but, idea but that... But that means... I'm sorry, oh, no, Don. I, I think that being aware and having to actually live your life in a closed room is not acceptable. At I some point, these guys... Loyalty, unfortunately, there are things you cannot do. Now, you know, I tend to agree with Whoopi on this one, but what do you think, Roland? Do you agree with Barbara that by filing a lawsuit that the royal family's making this even more important than it should be? I agree with both of them, and that's the reality. It is going to get more attention because of the lawsuit. Whoopi is right. Protect your privacy. But it is the reality of the world we live in because guess what? People are reading these magazines, and this is the stuff they want to see. We are a voyeuristic society. That's the real mm -hmm. problem here. It's the people buying the magazines. Yeah, we're going to continue to talk about this one for sure, I know, but it's time.